Welcome to Dealer's Choice, y'all! Glad to have you with us. It's been a long time since I've done this game, Dealer's Choice. And I'm so looking forward to doing this game in my new group, the Rodney Games and Christianity Group. Welcome to all four contestants. Let me go ahead and put the camera to our scoreboard and we'll start our game. I need to straighten the computer up so it can be... Uh, directly in front of the camera. And here we go, guys. We're ready to do Dillard's Choice. And we have four contestants. There's some people that are new on here, and then there's some that are very familiar. Okay? So, here we go. We have our first contestant in the form of Jay. How you doing, Jay? I'm good. Well, Jay, you want to tell the viewers about yourself. Okay, you just want to get into the game? Yeah. Alright. I know that Jay's a YouTuber and a gamer, right Jay? Are your friends? Just say, just say you're, I'm your gamer, like like we play for, like Roblox. Mm -hmm. Okay, Okay, YouTuber and a gamer. Okay, well good luck to you Jay. And just for being on the show already, I'm going to start you with $1,000. Oh, really? There you go, that's... That's my gift to you. Okay, now our second player, we have Justin. Well, I have to do the long announcement first. He's my meatball. Yeah, he's my meatball to my spaghetti. He's the one that loves some summer Bartholomew. Why? What are those gray things on my on the end of my shoes called? Why does the elevator door um, close button does not work when you press it? It's Justin for showing. Yeah. Hello, Hello, hey, Justin. Now, you're going to see Justin a lot in these videos because he's going to have a multi-duty job here. He's going to be my contestant as well as my co-host. On here. So, how do you feel about that, Justin? That's that's awesome. Great, great. So, are you doing you doing all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Good, good, good. Well, we're gonna put a thousand dollars in your bank, also. There it is. And our third player we have is Ethan. He's the one who loves me to say, "Yeah, you pudding." And also, hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. We, <laughs> al we also like the game. We also like playing the game Rocket League on our off-camera games. Yep. He, make sure to watch that game. Make sure yeah. to watch that video. That was good playing Rocket League with you. It was. It was. It, it, so, up, guys? It's, this is ESD Zary 1, also known as Y in order. Zary 1, also known as my Roblox. And um, also, make sure to watch that. Also, ignore the back of his name. If you guys were wondering, that was my um, phone that was playing the music. That was Trace on my phone. But anyways, also make sure to watch that, that live stream we, me and Jay did. Right, Jay? Do you remember that live stream we did? The me and morning live playing the Wii? Yep, that's a live we did. So make sure to subscribe, like, and yeah. And I'm also a YouTuber, Instagrammer, and I'm almost to 400. Right now I'm at 390. All right. Well, Ethan, are you ready to play Dylan's Choice? I'm ready to give this a try. I'm ready to learn about this game. We're going to start you with $1,000. Oh, my goodness. I feel like you're going to start everyone with $1,000. Yeah. Right. Yep, 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 yep. And the last a player we have, we have a person who loves game shows. He loves playing video games on a regular basis. Is Glitchy. How you doing, Glitchy? I'm slowly getting there. You're slowly getting there. You're doing, you're doing all right? You're anxious at playing this game, aren't you? Yep. Let's put $1,000 in your bank. And let's give applause to four nice players. Uh, before we start, um, 
Do you have a question? How did your cat die? It was cat, and he had lung disease. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I'm passing on your cat glitchy. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. And my prayers are with you, okay? All right, guys. Well, y'all got that thousand dollars now. What y'all gonna do with that thousand dollars? You gonna use that money to bid on four casino games? And the object of this game is for you to build as much money as you can by the end of the show. At the end of of uh, five games, whoever has the most money at the end of five games will win the game and keep their money. Okay. So, we're going to start with our first game, and on the first game, you will get to select from five games, and I will explain the rules to the game when it's picked, okay? We're going to start with um, Jay first. Jay, do you want to play combination, total up, any pair of loses, high, low, or in between? Those are really hard choices. Mm hmm Now, to help you with your choice, this first game, all these choices are card games. So, the, this first round is card games. So. Here, Jay, I'll spin the wheel. Um, I'll make it two options. Well, okay, so what's the two options? Is it high and low and what? So, we have combination, total up, any pair of loses, High, low, and in between. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm okay, I'm gonna do high and low and in between. High, low. And in between. In between. Alright, I'm gonna spin the wheel, see what, I got my phone again, so let's spin the wheel. Okay, so you gonna spin the wheel to determine it. I'm not against that at all. Actually, it's actually, the, if you guys are wondering what that website is, it's called wheelofnames.com. I will, I will, um, underline it, it's in between, Jay. So, you want that minigame? Um, I was going to say high and low, but, oh, uh, You I want in between? Yeah. Okay, we're going to play in between, and so shall it be. And I will explain the rules of in between, okay? So, let me put these. Over here, this is going to go yeah. over here in this area. Yeah. And I'll put this off to the side. So, the object of in-between, I'm going to look at the note card, because we have the rules on the notes. Okay, so the object of in-between is this. Each player makes an open bet. I will deal one card at a time, okay? Now, face up onto the game card, and then each player wins an amount equal to the bet. So, as long as a three through a queen comes up when I pull up the cards, as long as a three through a queen comes up when I pull up the cards, you win your bet, okay? If, if a two, a king, or an ace comes up, you lose your bet, okay? And we'll do this up to five... We'll do this up to five times, okay? So we're going to start with J first. The minimum bet, the maximum bet in this first game is $100, uh, J. So you can bid anywhere from $1 to $100. So what's your bet for this game, J? I'm going to say $99. Going to $99. Okay, so that's going to take you down to $901. I'm going to have to use the calculator for that, but that's okay. So, he's going to go to 901 here. There it is. So, he's being 99. I have to write the numbers down on the side, and JJ bids 99. Okay, Justin, you know the rules of the game. How much do you want to bid for this game? I'll go $5. He's going five dollars, being conservative, so it'll take him down to nine ninety five. Oops, excuse me. I know why I did wrong. Here we go. There we go. He's being just five dollars to take him down to nine ninety five. Okay, Ethan, what do you want to wager? Oh, 
just uh, up to a hundred dollars, um, uh, Ethan. You can bid um up to a hundred dollars in this game. So it's from one to one hundred. Let's do six dollars. He's going six dollars. Very conservative. Very conservative. It takes you down to nine ninety four. Okay, and Glitchy, how much you want to weigh during this game? Up to $100. Um, eight. Going to $8. Okay, they're going really low here, but that's okay. So, as long as they, um, so as long as the, um, the, um, the two, the king or the ace does not come up, you'll win your bet. If a two or a king or ace does come up, you will lose your bet, okay? And I will ask y'all each time, do y'all want to stop and take what you want or go on and risk it for another card, okay? All right, so here's the first card. The first card is... It is a three, and that is a winner. Barely, though. It's a winner. So everybody doubles. So, so Jay goes up to... 198. Justin goes up to 10. Ethan goes up to 12. And Glitchy goes up to 16. Now, does anybody does anybody want to stop right here? No. Nobody wants to stop. Okay. Who wants to stop? Okay, I don't hear nobody saying they want to stop, so we're going to go on to the next card. We don't want a two, king, or an ace. Let's see the next card. Oh, it's a king, and it's over with already. Oh, no. That's a bust. That is a bust. So, I forgot to take um, Glitchy's total. He went and bid eight, so he goes down to 992, so... So we have to put that down there. So y'all lose y'all best for that one. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and recap our scores. That game is over with already. So here's the recap of the scores here. So the scores are as, as follows. Jay has $901. Justin's in the lead with $995. Ethan has $994. And Glitchy has $992. But we're just getting started, guys. That was just only the first game. And we're ready to do our second game in which Justin will get the choice, okay? Okay. So, Justin, you have a choice of five games. You could either play Kino, Bingo, Combination, Total Up, or Any Pair of Losers. Let's go with Any Pair of Losers. Going with Any Pair of Losers. That's a popular game here. So, we'll put that there. Okay, and we'll take a quick commercial break, guys, while I shuffle up those cards for any pair of losers. You need, you need the music again? No, no. All right. We're just, uh, I'm going to shuffle up the cards. I, I always shuffle up right. the cards again after every round, so. All right. While Rodney um, shuffles the card, guys, I, um, I sent the um, Discord link. Uh, <laughs> That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that's the website I know me and Jay go, right, Jay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we're doing any pair loses. Now, the object of any pair loses is simple. I'm going to deal out the first two cards. As long as you don't get a pair when I deal out the cards, you win your bet, okay? Now, if a pair should come up in any of my, uh, any of the cards that come up, you lose your bet, okay? And we'll do the, we'll do this four times, okay? And this time, we're going to start with, and let's go to the, um, camera, the scoreboard. Alright, so we're going to start with you, um, Justin. The maximum bet for this one is $250. Where's your bet, Justin? 
risk it all. You risking two fifty? Yeah. He's risking two hundred fifty dollars, so that's gonna take him to seven forty five. So put the two fifty over here. So we'll put him down to set seven forty five. There we go. Ethan, you're up. What's your bet? What about one dollar? You're being only one dollar, okay? Very conservative, but that's okay. So he's down to nine ninety three. Right, nine ninety three. All right, and um, Glitchy, uh, what do you bet? Two dollars. He's bidding two dollars. Okay. Going down to nine ninety. All right, so I made I made pressure lock for tomorrow uh, for tomorrow on my side, so we're, we're available to do pressure lock on your side today. Good. Yeah, Good. there it is. And Jay, what is your bet? Mm, let's see, uh, one seventy five. One hundred seventy five dollars. There we go, Jay. So we take the one seventy five. That will take you down to 826. All right, so let's bring it down to 876. It's actually 826, yeah, 826. There we go. Okay, so we're ready to play any pair of losers. Let's put the camera back over here. And I'm going to deal out up to five cards. As long as a pair does not come up, you win the bet, okay? So here we go. The first card we have is a five. As long as another five does not come up, y'all will double, okay? Here we go. It's a jack that win. Let's go. So, so we double Jay's. He's at three fifty. We double Justin's. He has. He's at five hundred. We double um Ethan's. He's at two dollars. And we double um Glitchy. He's at four dollars. Okay. Does anybody want to stop right here? Oh, Jay does want to stop. Okay, so we're going to give you your money, Jay. So, $350. It will bring him to $1176. So, we're going to bring you back up to $1176. Very nice, Jay. Yeah, $1176. All right. Anybody else want to stop? I would. Okay, Ethan wants to stop. Okay, so he's stopping. So Ethan stops. He's going to take his $2. Okay, that brings him to $9.95. So we'll bring him up to $9.95. Anybody else wants to stop? Okay, everybody wants to keep playing. Okay, as long as a five or a jack does not come up, you win, okay? Let's see, we're looking for not a five, not a jack. Here we go. It's a four, y'all win! So Justin doubles to $1,000. And Glitchy doubles to $8. Okay, does anybody want to stop right here? I'll stop now. Okay, Justin gets a thousand dollars. You got got seven forty five, so you got seventeen forty five now. So we'll put that up there. You got seventeen forty five. Okay, and Glitchy is the only one left. Do you want to stop, Glitchy? What did 
did you say? No. He doesn't want to stop. Okay. He's going. He's looking for any card. He does not want to five. He does not want to jack. He does not want to four. Let's see what the next card is. It's a nine, and you win, Glitchy. Let's go. So we double again. He goes to sixteen dollars. Okay, and this is the last round. And you say you're going again, uh, Glitchy? Yep. Okay, so Glitchy, as long as a five, a jack, a nine, or a four does not come up, you win. If either of those cards come up, you lose. Here we go. The last card we have is... Oh, it's a jack and Glitchy loses! Sorry about that. That's bad luck. That's bad luck. So, I'm going to update the scores here. Okay, so that's the end of that round. So that jack came up, and uh, that was a pair, and you lose. So let's look at the scores now, the running scores after two rounds. So we have Jay with 1176. Justin is in the lead with 1745. Ethan has... 995 and Glitchy has 990. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right, so now we're in round number three right now. And Ethan gets to choose this time, okay? All right, let's go. Okay, so you get the choice of, of um, five games, uh, Ethan, which one you want to play. Here it is. So we have Tropicana 500, Dillis Derby, Blackjack, Kino, or Bingo? Bingo. You want to play Bingo? Okay, we're going to play Bingo then. Good, good, so good. I want a Bingo game on Wii Party today. Really? Oh, you oh you yep. play Bingo on Wii Party? I like that game too. Okay, so now on Bingo, the way Bingo works, I'm going to put the camera back over here. So the way pink bingo works is this. Y'all guys are going to go ahead and secretly wager uh, a what bingo is going to happen first, okay? Y'all going to secretly wager a bet to me, okay? You're going to private message me. Y'all understand that? Okay, now if y'all decide to make a bet on the vertical or up and down, uh, the odds are two to one, okay? If you decide to do the horizontal, the odds are also two to one, okay? If you do a diagonal, the odds are four to one. And I know on the board game, it does not have it on this board game, but I'm going to make a provision for it. If y'all choose to do the four corners, the odds are eight to one, okay, for the four corners, because that's the hardest, okay? So... The, the maximum bet for this game is up to $500 on this game. So what y'all going to do is y'all going to secret message me your bet and what um what bingo is going to hit first, okay? So go ahead. What the quarters Huh? What were the quarters starting? Yeah, if you do, if you, if you should choose the four corners, the odds are 8 to 1 for that. So y'all secret message me y'all bets here. And I'm gonna need my random.org to uh to do this part of the game. We got one. We got one. I'm waiting for three more bets. Does everyone understand what they're supposed to do? Okay, so y'all understand. Y'all got a private message me a bet up to $500. And you have to determine whether a bingo is going to hit 
across, up or down, diagonally, or four corners. And then you secretly put your bed in. Ignore about. If you hear that guy, YouTube, just ignore it. It's just my cousins are here. So Alright. Not sure what the heck. So, so far, Justin has, is the one that gave me his bed. Sorry, Jay, just ignore him. I'm sure I'm screaming in the house. I'm back. Alright. Does anybody... Yeah, I'm waiting for y'all to um, make y'all wager. You have to make a private wager. You have to private message me your wager. Then you have to predict whether the bingo, the first bingo is going to happen up or down, uh, across, diagonally, or four corners. Let me think real quick. And don't say your wager. Then you're going to have to private message me that. Okay, Yes. I, also, um, I see Ethan. Now, Ethan, okay, Ethan, you just gave me a wager. Now, you have to private message me which bingo is going to happen first. Is it going to happen up or down, um, diagonally, um, across, or four corners? Yeah. Okay, I got it, Ethan. I got it. Now, we're waiting on Jay and Glitchy to give me a bet in their prediction. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Glad y'all guys enjoyed that. Yeah, I didn't watch it, but I, I, I went to the end there for a second and I saw you won the million. So what are you going to do with all that million dollars on the if I w If that was real money, I would pay my bills and get a new house. <laughs> just pay your bills and just get a new house. <laughs> yep. I'll get a hundred. Okay, yeah, you have to secretly bet, Glitchy. You have to secretly message me the bet, Glitchy, and then, and then um, give me your prediction. Yeah. You have to private message me. Okay. Do you, do you text me, Jay? Just trying to figure it out. Okay, I see Glitchy. Now we went on Jay for his bet and his prediction. You're just thinking about it, right? Yeah. Right. It's either you're gonna predict you're gonna predict up or down, diagonally, horizontally, or four corners. Now up or down. Now the up the odds for up and down is two to one. Across is two to one. Diagonally is is a four to one, and four corners is eight to one.
heard something fall. I don't know what the hell that was. Did you get the wager yet, Jay? I just want you to smell dying angle, but... Don't, no. Well, I got your prediction, Jay. Just give me your wager. Hey, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm going to put that down. You said 65, and you said diagonal. Okay, so we got all the wagers. Okay. Yeah, we got all the wagers. So, now we're going to play bingo. I'm going to see which bingo comes first. So, let me go ahead and, um... Go back to my screen on random.org, the homepage. And we're going to put the numbers from 1 to 16. And here we go. Let's go ahead and generate the first number. The first number is 5. We got 5. Next number is 11. 11. Okay, the next number... Well, we can't use five again. Let's do it again. Sixteen is the next number. Next number is nine. No bingos yet. Next number is twelve. Now, if a ten should come up, that will be our bingo going across. Let's see what happens. Fifteen, okay. We have 15. Next number. We can't use 15 again. Here we go. 13. Okay. So we got a bingo going up and down and going across there. A lot of bingos coming up. Next one. 15 we cannot use again. Here we go. Three. We're coming close to a bingo. Next one. We can't use five again. Fourteen, and there's a bingo. So the bingo, the first bingo was going across, okay? Now, Jay, you made your wager at $65. That was a wrong guess because you predicted diagonally. So we're going to take $65 away from you. Yeah. He got all ones. He got 11 11 left. So let's be. Let me put the uh, camera to the scoreboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not easy to learn this game at first. Yeah. So you're down to 11 11. Okay, now we got Justin. Let me look at Justin's wager. Justin, you wagered. Five hundred dollars diagonal. That's a wrong guess, and you lose the five hundred, Justin. You go down to twelve forty-five. Dang. Okay, now we go to Ethan's wager. Ethan wagered two hundred dollars up and down. That is a wrong guess. So you're gonna lose two hundred dollars. He goes down to seven ninety five. Yep, you lost on that one because it it goes across. And then glitchy, glitchy. Let's see, huh? I was asking if you can count as a win still. That's okay. I know I lost, but I'm counting as a win still. Yeah, and glitchy wagered. $100 going up and down. That's a wrong guess. So everybody lost on that one. So it was a cross. So, uh, so he goes down to $890. So right now, Justin is still in the lead with $1245. Jay is in second place with $1111. And then Glitchy has $890. And Ethan has $795. So we're done with our third game. Now we're ready to do our fourth game here. How many rounds are there? Five rounds. All right. So whoever wins gets to go to the bonus round or something? There's no bonus round. Whoever wins the most money on this one um, keeps their money and wins the game. Oh. Yep. All right. So here we go. We go to round number four. And this time we go to Glitchy. You'll get a selection 
of three games, Gritchie, okay? All right, Gritchie, the three games we have left are Tropicana 500, Dillard's Derby, or Wheel of Chance. Which one you want to play? Options again. Tropicana 500, Dealers Derby, or Wheel of Chance? Dealers. You want to do Dealers Derby? Yeah. Okay, Dealers Derby it is. So shall it be. Okay, so I will explain the rules in this game. This is a horse race, okay? Again, I'll be using random.org. Y'all going to private message me, y'all wager on which horse is going to come up first, okay? In uh, Dillard's Derby. So I'm going to put the horses on the game board. And let me make sure that I got the rules together here. Okay, so. If horse one finishes first. It is a one-to-one -one payday. Horse two finishes first. Is a, it is a, it is a three-to-one payday. If horse um, three finishes first is a five to one payday. So horse one finishes is one to one. Horse two finishes it is three to one, and horse three finishes is five to one. And remember, the higher the odds of the horse, the harder for the horse to get to the finish line. Okay. So, so the maximum bet for this game is one thousand dollars for this game. The maximum bet is one thousand dollars. In this case, Ethan. And Glitchy, you can bid um, up to what you have, okay? Now, remember, if you go down to zero in this game, you will not go to the fifth round. So, just want to alert y'all on that. So, you want to predict what your horse is and then give me and private message me your wager, okay? Up to $1,000 if you have $1,000. Okay, Glitchy, uh... Wagered. We we're looking for two more wagers. You just want to put put your weight, your wager down, and the horse that you want to go with. Remember, the higher the odds, the harder, the tougher it is for the horse to finish. Who haven't now who have not put their wager down yet? I have Glitchy's wager. I think I have Justin's wager. Ethan, did you wager yet? Not yet. I got my wager in privately again. You got wager privately. You are you are predict what horse you're gonna go with and then you're gonna bid. Um, the amount you're going to um, wager for it. Alright, alright. Alright, let me wait. I'm going to get my wager. And the, the maximum is up to $1,000, but in your case, you have seven ninety five left. So you you can only bid up to seven ninety five. dollars Alright. And I wager. Okay. And uh, you have to predict your horse. Put, put down which horse you think is going to win, whether it's horse one, horse two, or horse three. You want to choose which horse you want to win the race. What's the color? It's horse one, horse two, or horse three. Okay. Jay, uh, do you have, okay, did Jay wager? Okay. Okay, Jay, do, okay, Jay, you want to tell me what your wager is, what you're wagering? Five dollars for horse two. Okay, got it. Five dollars. Horse two. Okay, so everybody got their wager. We're going to go into the race here now. So I will explain a little more about the numbers coming up, how the numbers are going to come up. So if a one through an eight comes up on random.org, that means that uh, horse one moves. A nine through a 13 
horse two moves, and a 14 to a 16, horse three moves, okay? Y'all ready? Y'all ready to do the race? Yeah. Here we go. First number. Right. Number nine, so that means horse two moves up first. Okay, next number. Number nine again. Horse two moves up again. Next number. Number seven, horse one moves. Next one. Number six, horse one moves. Next one. Fifteen, horse three moves. It's a neck and neck waist. Here we go. Next number. Number one, horse one moves. Next one. Number five, horse one moves. Next one. Number five, horse one moves. If, if horse number, if I pull up a one to an eight on this next move, horse one is going to win the race. Here we go. Next number. Number six, horse one wins the race. All right. So, that's the end of the race. Horse one really zoomed down in front. So, if anybody bid horse one, it is a one-to-one -one payday. Now, we have Jay. Jay, you bid uh, horse number two, which is wrong. You only lose $5, though. So you go down to eleven $1 hundred and six dollars. So we'll put that down. Okay, now we go to Justin. Let's see what you wager, Justin. That's money away from me. Justin must have really been bit. Well, we're gonna go to Glitchy first. Now Glitchy went twenty dollars on horse one. That is correct, Glitchy. So you're gonna get twenty dollars. I should have uh, put his wager up. So twenty dollars, he goes up to nine ten here. So let's uh, put that up here. Okay, so he's at nine hundred ten dollars. Now we'll go to Justin here. He went with Forest 2 for a thousand dollars. You go down to 245, Justin, but you're not out of the game. Yeah. And then Ethan, let's see your wager. So it goes down to 245 here. Okay, Ethan, let's see your wager. You went with horse three and you bid everything, Ethan. You are done with. You go down to zero, so you're out of the game. Oh. Yeah, can you guys win for me? Yeah, you, so you're out of the game, Ethan. I'm sorry. So we got three people going into the last round here. So as it stands, let me go ahead and put this down. This game anyway. Yeah. So here we go. So we got uh, three players that are playing in the final round. So I will explain what this final round is. So let me put everything away. All right. Give me one second here. Okay, we're going to move everything off of here, and we're going to get ready for the final round. Now, in the final round, what y'all going to do is private message me a number from 0 to 100, okay? The name of the game is called The Rolling of the Dice, okay? All right, so I think somebody jump on it. So... Uh, Justin put his uh, prediction down. Now I need a number between 0 to 100 because whoever is the closest to the number of the dice that I roll, whoever is the 
closest to the number of the dice that I roll on the game will win the money times 10, and they could be the winner of the game, okay? Right. And Jay, you can give me your prediction right now, Jay. A number from 0 to 1,000. Yeah, what number do you think uh, is going to come up from 0 to 1,000? Let's see, I'm going to say 6. you going with 6? Yeah. Okay, he's going with 6. Okay. All right, so who's ever the closest without going over will win the money on the dice, okay? So now we're going to go to the rolling of the dice. Are y'all guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. If a spade comes up, the game stops right then and there, okay? Here we go. First row. It is $150, okay? $150. Next row. We roll up until we get a spade or until I reach $1,000. Here we go. It is another 100 so we have 250 Next row. Another 300. We have 550. Next row. Another 150. We have 700. If I roll 300, the game is over. Here's another 150. We're at 850. We need 150. We have 100. There's 950. This is my last row, one way or the other. So that means whoever's the closest to twelve hundred and fifty will win ten times the amount. In other words, that's twelve thousand five hundred dollars, and they will ultimately win the game. Okay? Now, Jay, you went with six, so that's very low. Let me see what Glitchy went with. I know what you went with, Glitchy. Glitchy went with. His favorite number is 69. And Justin, Justin, you predicted 420. Justin, you're the closest, so you're going to jump ahead and win the game. Let's add your winnings up. So we're going to add your winnings up. We're going to give you $12,500. That means you win the game with $12,745. Here we go. Hang on one second. Here we go. So you get to keep that money, Justin. You obviously will go on the leaderboard with that with $12,745, okay? Alright guys, and that concludes the game of Dilla's Choice. Did everybody have a good time up there? Well, that game was not yeah. fun. Take me down the win. Alright guys, well, this is Riding1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, take care of everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all.